Hi, alright, let's look at these examples. Alright, have previous video you have learned that uh, squaring both sides will help you to solve this type of equation that involving thirds. Alright, so this question is also the same. You're going to use squaring both sides. So I'm going to square both sides. Alright, uh, do squaring both sides. So, uh, alright, I'm going to square this by x. 1 plus square root of x plus 3. Okay, for this case, if you want already square root, you will get uh, 2x minus 1, right? Uh, only one single third on the right-hand side. So, and this side, you have to expand, right? You have 1 plus with positive uh, square root of x plus 3 plus with square root of x plus 3, right? So, uh, then you have uh, positive x plus 3 equals to 2x minus 1, right? Okay, I have expand. Uh, so, you have 1 plus square root of x plus 3, square root of x plus 3 plus x plus 3. This one, you apply this rule, right? Uh, so, then you group up. This one become uh, 2 square root of x plus 3, right? 2 square x plus 3 and for all this number number unknown I bring to the right hand side okay uh, so I have 2x minus 1 2x minus 1 minus with x minus with x 3 plus 1 is 4 4 so minus 4 right so then I have 2 square root of x plus 3 equals to x, 2x minus x, you will get x minus 5, right? 2x minus x, you have x, negative 1, negative 4, you have uh, negative 5, all right? So now, uh, again, you have now, for this, just now you have two third, right, for the equation. So now you have only one third. So as long as it's still there, a third there, you do squaring both sides, okay? You squaring both sides until the third is gone. So this one now very easy. Square, don't forget the two that you also need to square, right? So two square, you have four. Bracket, square this, it will become x plus three. And this one is a quadratic, right? You expand, you have x square minus two, five, 10 x plus 25. So now you have to rearrange. Uh, this one become four x, right? Four x plus with 12. So you have x square minus 10x, x square minus 10x, and here you have 4x. So you have to minus 4x, right? You bring to the that side. So negative 10x, negative 4x plus with 25. Here you have 12. So you minus 12 here equals to 0. So you finally, you will still get a quadratic form, right? You still get a quadratic form form. So then you have x square minus with 14x, right? 14x, 25 plus 13 equals to 0. Okay, now no more third. You have square everything up to now. So you have x square minus 14 plus with 13. So factorize x x i think is 113 and negative negative positive negative positive because the negative here you have put negative 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 13 negative 14 so you have two solution x equals to 1 and x equals to 13 ah for this case you have two solution so means that these two solution maybe both is accepted All right or maybe one is accepted so how to confirm how to know that this is your solution? Why I need to check for third? Because I do modification. I square the equation, you know. Once I square, I maybe get more than one possibility. All right? So I have, I have to check. So how? Uh, I have to show you the, check, uh, the checking. So for example, x equals to 1. Uh, for example, x equals to 1. So you need to, uh, you need to substitute to both sides. Okay, now the equation, remember the, or the equation originally is uh, 1 plus square root of x plus 3 equals to square root of 2x minus 1. This is your, this is your 
uh, left hand side and this is your right hand side right so you substitute accordingly so for left hand side uh, left hand side so 1 plus square root of so now you're going to check about x equals to 1 so you put 1 1 plus 3 then what you have 4 2 you have 3 here right you have 3 so this is for left hand side you have 3 so for the right hand side uh, right hand side is right hand side is square root of 2x minus 1 so you uh, square root of 2 times x minus 1 so your x now is 1 right 1 so you have square root of 1 which give you 1 ah can you find out something happened ah something is happened so 1 plus 3 remember 1 plus 3 you got 4 square root of 4 you have 2 2 plus 1 you got 3 but the right hand side if you are what you substitute the 1 you have 1 can you say they are equal if you put x equals to 1 here you get 3 here you get 1 so can you say 3 equals to 1 not right 3 of course not 1 so this solution is not satisfied the equation uh, so means this is a false a false solution okay a false solution so okay let's see how about uh, x equals to 13 mm, it might be also a false solution so x equals 13 so the left hand side will be uh, 1 plus square root of x plus 3 x plus 3 for left hand so x is 13 plus 1 right uh, hey, sorry 13 plus 3 right 13 plus 3 so you have to 1 plus square root of 16 which gives you 5 right 5 uh, let's do double check right hand side double right hand side is 2 x minus 1 2x minus 1 so we substitute the x with 13 uh, 13 then you have 26 minus 1 you have 25 ah now you see this one 5 this one also 5 ah this is this okay means that the x equals 30, 13 satisfied the equation right but x equals 1 not satisfied the equation right so this is a false solution and this is the real solution so how so you therefore uh, you have to tell why you reject x equals to 1 then you write out the reason wow uh, this is your reason right means the left hand side is not the same as the right hand side this the different but this one the left hand side is the same as the right hand side so means therefore the solution will be x equals to 13 all right uh, so this is the difference between this example and the previous example, alright?